Hey guys, how's it going? It's Robin here. Welcome to your daily tarot card reading. This is going to be for Tuesday, March 8th, and I will be using the Starman tarot card um, deck to do this reading for you. So <clears throat> this is for the collective. It's for anybody that decides to tune in, and thank you for doing that. Remember to subscribe and leave me a comment, you guys. Um, so general reading for the collective. So take what resonates, let the rest fly, and we'll just jump in because I've been butchering intros like nobody's business lately, so we'll just jump in. Okay, so what's the energy for today? Let's have a deck cut. <clears throat> I was asking my guides, by the way. Okay, so what have we got here? Okay, so we do have the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So this is like a boundless determination to focus on your goals okay and it could be related to your abundance in some way because pentacles they do represent coins which is self-explanatory okay so the queen of pentacles she has this unstoppable energy i always like to sort of compare her to this video that i saw of will smith where he was saying you know I'm not the most talented guy, I'm not the best looking guy, but I'm the guy that stays on the treadmill last, okay? So that's the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. She's like, you might get tired, you know, you might just feel like throwing the towel in, but there's something in you that is going to just have this like dogged persistence to keep you going, okay? And that is your determination and your grit. So based on what happened yesterday, if you were uh, able to allow um, the vacuum law, the universal vacuum law to come in and sort of clear your emotional baggage, then this should have been presented to you today, okay? So, um, I need to stare at this card, but you guys don't need to stare at me while I do that. Hold on. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles, I really want you to look super closely at her, okay? So this could be somebody coming in to help you. This could be an earth sign. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? So there's something going on in her hands, and I see that this is kind of like... Uh, if you've ever heard of a chi activation or somebody sending energy to you, it's usually through the palm of their hands, okay? So if you guys are still not having the great day, uh, the greatest day or whatever, or you're just feeling down or uninspired, <clears throat> it looks like there is somebody with this energy coming in, this Queen of Pentacles energy, Earth sign, um, and they're actually going to be able to kind of rekindle your flame using all the energy that they have like really look at her hands like she's about to just sort of activate somebody with the palm of her hands and then over here is this little seedling that is about to burst up okay and just really reach for the stars okay so this could be either way. This could be you activating yourself. This could be you activating someone else. Or this could be somebody coming in and saying, girl, <laughs> get up. Okay, so, and sometimes you do need that really helpful sort of practical energy. Let's get going. There's still lots of life to be lived. So come on, let's snap out of it. Snap out of it. <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> I'm having the best time. Okay, so a little bit of energetic clearing coming in here. If you know somebody that um, is really good with moving energy, somebody that can do energy clearing for you and you're in a funk, then ask them for help or vice versa. Offer your help to somebody and look what comes in. Like the universe comes like storming in, you know, just poof lighting up your eyes, lighting up your brain, lighting up every single cell and just really promoting you forward. It's like there's a new candle within you because I see that so many people had their candle kind of snuffed out to speak in a figurative way. And it is time for that to be relit, for you guys to find your fire, to activate your light source. And if you have to lean on somebody else, that's totally cool. And sometimes we don't know people in our circle that do that. Um, but if you don't, then hire somebody to help you out, like to see what's going on with you, to get you back kind of in fighting shape. Okay, guys. 
Um, I think I've been weird enough for this one, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> Bye.